I tried to make custom G4 stock mount timer skins, and it turned out amazing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe because subscribing supports me a lot and helps me create all this amazing Cuban content. Thank you. Now back to the video. So for this custom timer skin, I'm thinking of using some A4 paper with packing tape on it for the lamination. I want to keep this plastic feel on the console. A4 paper is also a very reliable thing. You can see that I started it and I can stop it with the A4 paper. So it's very reliable and all I need to do is laminate it. So I'm gonna try to measure out all the pads. I'm gonna try and measure out the console with all the buttons and like the display and the other pad which should be quite easy because I would assume that the left and right hand are the same. You guys will probably see a detailed blueprint at the end. This took me a lot longer than I thought. This thing took me 45 minutes nearly. I realized I wasted so much time yesterday. I could honestly just trace over this and then I can just put that on a cardboard. But no, I had to spend an hour drawing a blueprint that I'm not even gonna use. Why? That didn't work. And now I'm using my computer to make the template because it's so much easier and I should have just done that before. And that was another half an hour wasted. I had this new idea where instead of actually drawing stuff by hand, I would just put into GIMP and I just scale it. So I think I'm just gonna try to empty out all of this stuff. I'll find like a black and white pattern online. Hopefully it works. Hello, sorry about that poor mic quality, but yeah, uh, well, this is time lapsing. I just like to connect with you, the viewer a bit. So please subscribe because you've already made it like two and a half minutes in and not many people actually get this far into my video so that would be greatly appreciated and yeah if you've made it here comment the word mango in the comments So as you guys can see, I just emptied out the background and now I'm going to find a cool, a cool pattern to put on the timer. So it's going to be black and white and I'll put my name on it, my YouTube channel name. Okay, look at this fresh timer spin. It's all black and white, but all the buttons are here so I can just cut it out precisely. This just looks real good. Okay, this is super lucky. You can see that I put the pattern like on the A4 paper. It's a bit big, but the timer just fits like a glove on it. I'm gonna be cutting this out. Hopefully I do not mess anything up. So now it's time to use this good old reliable old packing tape. I guess I'll just try to wrap it around this stuff. I'm not going to color it in because no point.
here is the timer skin all cut out. I need to just cut out the timer screen, so I think I'll do that with an X-Acto knife. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think I'll just tape it down like this, and I, I didn't even record it. Wow, good job me, good job me. Do you want to lose viewers? Actually, you know what? I'll probably make a how-to video how to make a timer skin sometime in the future. Look at look at how good this looks. It's not the best because you can see the tape that's taping the skin onto the timer, but it's functional. The buttons work. You can't really see the lights, but you can stop it, reset, turn it off, turn it on, and it's it's great. I'm gonna be showing you guys some sols and yeah, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and hit the bell to never miss out on any more cubing content like this. I'm out. Peace. Also, click one of the cards on screen.